Hello, More Than Small Talk podcast friends. This is Susie Eller. Each week we bring you a little more encouragement as a follow-up to our latest episode. Yesterday's More Than Small Talk episode was called Come As You Are. I was sitting with a friend, her head resting on her hands. I don't know if I'll ever get there from here. Her words were sincere. She loved God with all of her heart, but sometimes her circumstances made her feel trapped and feeling trapped sometimes caused her to react and later wrestle with regret. And those regrets made her feel as if she would never change. As we sat together, I asked a simple question. Hey, where did you start in this journey as a believer? She shook her head. Oh, Susie, I was addicted broken. I had lost everything and everyone that I cared about. And where are you now? She smiled. Not addicted, she said. I've gained it all back. But then she added, but I have so far to go. You know, our stories are diverse, but the longing is for more of Jesus. It's for wholeness. It's healing. But we can be so focused on where we want to be or how far we need to go that we can forget how far God has brought us. Let's not forget to mark the miles from where we first began, and let's not forget to celebrate His tangible presence in areas that used to be utterly damaged. When we begin to look back with an eye for celebration, we can look forward with assurance. As we grow, our Heavenly Father is brimming with mercy. He's aware of the schedule of our healing process, and it's not going to look like anyone else's. So today I want us all to just pause for a moment and look back. Maybe you began your faith journey in legalism, and now you're walking in relationship. Celebrate that. Maybe there was a time that something had a hold on you, and now that hold is loosened. I'm dancing with you, friend. That's freedom. Perhaps you lost something of great value, but you gained hope and healing in the process because of Jesus' love. When you and I begin to grasp the significance of the miracles of the past, we also gain a sense of God's immense patience and healing power over us for today. Maybe you're not where you want to be yet. I understand that. I've been there too. But just as God has brought us this far, He will be with us all the way to the end. So stop. Look back. Remember His mercy and His healing touch. And look forward with anticipation of the healing yet to come. Hey friends, I just released a 21-day study called 21 Invitations from Jesus that have the power to change you and your faith forever. And one of those invitations is to be a miracle in the making, even as you feel like a work in progress. You can find my book, 21 Invitations from Jesus, on Amazon.com. Thanks for joining today. We'll have another More Than Small Talk episode for you soon. Holly, Jennifer, and I hope you'll share this with a friend today so they can be encouraged too.